Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh, joined by women's volleyball coach Dave Trumbo. And coach, we talked at the beginning of the season, expectations were mixed. You knew you had a good team, but missed a lot of key pieces. You guys were off to a roaring 11-1 start. you got to be thrilled with the way this team has responded early on in this season. I am. I am thrilled, Dave. It's It's been amazing to watch this unfold as it was a little bit unexpected. You know, a lot of Young kids had to play really, really good, and I'm kind of thinking, is this team going to show up the following weekend? <laughs> and they keep coming back, so I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with where we are right now. You know, Sarah Bollinger, our setter, who really is a sophomore, has never really had baptism under fire, has just been phenomenal. Nothing short of phenomenal. And of course, uh, you know, most of those games, you're winning in straight sets. You've only dropped a handful of sets, obviously one loss on the season as well. Uh, but some tough challenges along the way. Is the team seem to be coming into their own, or do you still see them improving as this goes along? Oh, we're going to get better. We, we always have two freshmen on the court, and we have two sophomores on the court. Yeah. So we, have, we only have two seniors. Sure. We only have two seniors, so uh, we are really young, and I just think we're going to keep getting better. You know, as, as our setter starts to uh, lead and master our offense, and as our freshmen just get more comfortable in their skin on the court, and obviously they're pretty comfortable already, you know, Annika Swartz and Lauren Weaver, so yeah. two of our three pin hitters are freshmen, and the other one's a sophomore that are starting right now, so they all are, are playing really good. And they've been pushed, and they are not sure. backing down. I was going to say, a lot of the under, underclassmen have stepped up quickly. The, the headlines aren't always the upperclassmen. It's the freshmen and the sophomores. Last match out against Gallaudet, led by freshmen and sophomores in the hitting department. It's clearly, they're coming into their own and very comfortable in the offense. Yeah, and they are playing with confidence. I mean, because we, you know, we, we lost a set. We lost the match early in the season. Did not deter them from from coming back, beat the number 22 team in the country at the time. Right. They were the number 22 team in the country. Uh, and they really enjoy, they, they just kind of, uh, they're Mustangs. Yeah. They understand how hard you have to work sure. to win. I never had to teach this. The, the freshmen how to compete. So they love playing together. They love competing. And uh, I'm expecting better things. Defensively, this team's playing very well as well, uh, holding teams to below 100 in hitting percentage in, in many games, even negative numbers in some occasions. Defensively, this team is certainly clicking as well. Yes, we are probably better defensively than we were last year. Uh, of course, led by you know, Sammy Perella. We'll yeah. talk about her a little bit later. But our, our setter, again, Sarah Bollinger, who's only five foot two, but super, super quick. And the freshmen and, uh, that are playing middle back, and, along with Kristen Brooks, who had a lot of experience last year, and she's our other outside hitter as a sophomore. Phenomenal defense, just tremendous athletes, and they just refuse to let the ball drop. And I think it frustrates the other teams because they think that ball's going down, and then some kid comes out of nowhere and digs <laughs> it up, and then we end up transitioning and getting the point, and that's the kind of stuff that wins matches. And then the other thing, I think the last game against Galilee had six players who had a block in the game, showing that a lot of players are willing to step up, especially at the net, and get the play done. Well, we're trying to play a lot of people. As much as, you know, absolutely I coach to win, but there's a lot of people that deserve time on the court and they're getting it, and that just makes our depth a little bit better. So when people do get hurt, and we did have somebody hurt in the uh, Gallaudet game, we can easily replace her and uh, just keep on rolling. Shouldn't ignore the service game either. Your team can sometimes just start going on runs. Thanks to your service game, five aces a game is almost on average for you guys. You find the holes in the, in the, the, the opposing team, and you're serving well to keep the, the rallies going. Well, we say that the best defense is a good serve. If you serve it tough, then you're going to get something back that's very um, easy to pass, and set, and hit. So we try and serve tough. We do make more serving errors than I would like. But if you're going to beat the best teams, you've got to serve tough. And then you, you mentioned Sam Perillo at the beginning. She's obviously the glue on this team, the most experienced. 2,000 digs now in her career. Uh, it's, it's pretty much her bread and butter. You talk about good defense, but then setting up a good offense. It starts with Sam. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we, put, we try to get Sam to pass as many balls out of serve <laughs> receive as we possibly can. And she has such confidence because she's human. She makes mistakes. It does not bother her a bit, and the kids can see the confidence, and they feed off that confidence. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're doing well is they don't think they're going to lose because Sam doesn't think they're going to yeah. lose. <laughs> How important is it? You weren't that sure she could come back from injury mm -hmm. and be part of this team this year. How important is the start to this season been because Sam's in the lineup? 
Uh, it couldn't be any more important. She brings so much to the table. Uh, her leadership, um, I'll never forget at the end, of, you know, when we did lose in the Sweet 16, the NCAA, she had that team around her telling, with tears just streaming down her eyes, how proud she was. She said all the things that as a coach I would have said, but she beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what kind of a person that she is. And you know, the kids love to play with her and they respect her and I think they don't want to let her down. This is her senior year, and they want to make sure that she goes to the NCAA's. And uh, so I think that's you know, that's everybody's goal. And she's kind of one of those. She's quiet off the court. She's not a boisterous person necessarily. At least when I run into her in the office. <laughs> but when she steps on the court, she takes over a whole other uh, dimension. Uh, she is very competitive, and she does play with a little chip on her shoulder, which I love. <laughs> that, that she has, you know, because she is really she's feisty and she is stubborn. <laughs> yeah. Those are all good qualities when sure. you're looking for somebody to play Lavaro, and she just will not give up. Let's talk about the uh, week ahead before we let you go. Wednesday, you'll take on Messiah in conference play. It'll be the third conference uh, game of the season so far. You haven't dropped a game, or a match, I should say, in the conference yet so far in this. But you, exactly, I was going to say, Messiah is a tough task. Oh, Messiah gives us their best shot every single yeah. time. We have been able to beat them the last two times for the conference championship uh, in the tournament. But we're going to get on their court. There's going to be a huge crowd. Yeah. And it's going to be a great game because we know they're going to play great. So there is no like oh, looking at box scores and this happened and that happened. This is Messiah Stevenson, and it's it's probably the biggest robbery in the conference for us. And then of course this weekend, you got four games ahead of you at York College. More just of, of keeping the team focused on the fact that you have that many games this week, and, and you want to stay on task. Yeah, and the, I'm thinking this weekend, because we have four matches, we're going to get a lot more play for everyone, which is great because kids are vying for a position. Things change, people inter are interchangeable, and we find out a little bit more about our entire squad this weekend when we have four matches like that. So I think we're looking forward to it. So five big games this week, mm -hmm. one against Messiah and MAC Conference action, and of course we have the, the four games at York. And by the way, we'll talk about it later, but then a huge... MAC crossover quad match coming up yeah. here at Stevenson in a week's time. Quickly, the top 25, you're getting some attention there. Is it maybe because uh, you're not maybe getting a, a lot of it because maybe some people are like, who is this Mustang squad we thought had lost so much? Exactly. I mean, we lost our top hitter. We lost an All-American outside. We lost an All-American setter. And we lost a starter that, or somebody that was in our receive. So we lost two-thirds of our receive and two of our best hitters and our setter. So they're thinking, well, they're going to really be down this year. Right. So we'll creep back up there as long as we keep playing. Well, they'll creep back up there. That's all right. We'll yeah. be under the radar for a while. And it works for the Mustangs, that's for sure. 11-1, and one, Coach Dave Trumbo's squad currently. Again, Messiah and four games at York coming up this week. We'll catch up with Coach next week as they get past that hurdle and take a look at the MAC crossover coming up in a week's time. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch up with him soon here on Go Mustang Sports.